Scientists like to look at the world around you. That's what science means. It means to look at the world around you and figure out how things work. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing we do when we figure out how things work is we ask a question. We might ask, why is the sky blue? Or why does a dog run the way that it does? Those are some questions that we ask and then scientists do experiments to figure out the questions. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to ask some questions and then we're going to do some experiments to see if we can find out the answers to the questions. So I have on the table in front of me some of the tools that scientists use to do their experiments. This is a flask. This is a big tube. It's actually called a graduated cylinder, but we're going to call it a tube for today. This is a funnel. This is a beaker, and then we have some cups and then some other ingredients. So these are some of the tools we're going to be using today. So the first question that I'm going to ask is, can I make a rainbow in a tube? Well, we're going to do an experiment to see if we can, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add some sugar to each of these four glasses. In the first one, I'm going to add one scoop. In the second one, I'm going to add two scoops. In the third one, I'm going to add three scoops. And then in the last one, I'm going to add one, two, three, and four scoops. Now I'm going to add some water to it. Now this water, I've heated it up so it's a little warm. I'm going to add some water to about right there. So we're going to do that to each glass. Now the reason why we're doing this is we're making a mixture of water that has different densities. That means it might be heavier than the other one. Oh, I don't have enough water. We'll just have to do some cold water. It'll still work. We have the same amount of water and then, but we have different amounts of sugar. So we're going to stir this up until it dissolves. Now, when I say dissolves, it means all the sugar is going away. So as you see, as I stir, can you see any sugar in there? No, no it's all gone. It all, it dissolved into the water. So we're going to do that for each one of these. You can still see some sugar in this one. So we're going to keep stirring until it's all dissolved. Yeah. Now, you can see it, it's getting clearer, right? Yeah, that means it's dissolved. Oh, now this one might take a little while because there's a lot more sugar. Remember, there's three scoops of sugar in this one, right? Yeah. We have one, two, three, and four scoops of sugar. So that means this one is going to be heavier than the other one. So we got to stir it, we got to stir it. Got to keep stirring it. So you can see that the sugar is dissolving because it's getting clearer. There, that'll do. <laughs> now this last one might take a long time to stir because it had four scoops in it, remember? Yeah. Four scoops of sugar. Plus I had that, yeah, one, two, three, four, plus I had to add some cold water. My arm's getting tired. Okay. Now it's almost there. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Okay, so remember, we had one scoop, mm -hmm. two scoops, mm -hmm. three scoops, mm -hmm. and four scoops. Mm -hmm. Now this one had the most scoops of sugar in it, right? Mm -hmm. So this one is actually going to be the heaviest because it has more sugar than any of the other bottles. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I've got to add my, I got to add my coloring to it so we can tell the different colors. One, two. yellow. Now we're going to add some color to this one. Blue. blue. Yeah, it's really dark, isn't it? Let's just add one drop of red to this one and see. Exciting. Now let's do one drop to this one. See what happens? Okay. So we have green, 
red, blue, and yellow. So we're going to add the yellow to the bottom. Ooh, let's add that much. Okay. Now that one's the heaviest, so it's going to sit on the bottom. Now we're going to add blue to it. Now blue, how many scoops of sugar did it have in the blue one? Three. And three. Remember? One, two, three, three, four. So this was the heaviest one because it had four scoops. The blue one is the second to the heaviest because it had three scoops. So I'm going to pull it up in my little scooper. Wow. And then I'm going to see if I can set it right on top of the yellow one. I got to be really careful. So it goes right on top. Yeah. So you see how it's sitting right on top of the yellow one? Yeah. It almost looks like green because you can mix colors. Yeah, it's mixing right there. Let's add just a little bit more to see if we can set some more blue right on top of that yellow. Oh, wow. that is pretty cool. Yeah. So the water. It's not mixing, it's sitting right on top because it has what's called different densities. That means one is heavier than the other one. So the yellow one is the heaviest, and then the blue one is the second heaviest. Now, we're gonna add some red. What do you think the red is gonna do? Raise your hand and I'll call on you and see if you can tell me what the red might do. Uh, tell me your name again. Alicia. Alicia, what do you think the red is gonna do? Is it going to mix or is it going to sit on top? It's going to mix and sit on top. Mix and sit on top. Add it really carefully. Some of it is mixing, but some of it is sitting right on top. I'll bring it around so you can see. It looks like purple. Yeah, it looks like purple right where it's touching. We have the yellow. We have the blue. We have the red, which is kind of purpley. What's our last color? Green. 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 Let's add the green one. We're going to set the green one right on top and see if it stays there without mixing. This one kind of mixed just a little bit, so we're going to add some more and see if it'll sit right on top for us. Remember, the reason why it's not mixing is because we have different densities. We have different weights of the sugar. Did we make the rainbow in the tube? Yes! Yeah. Yes! It looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? Yes! Yeah. Yes! So our question was, can I make a rainbow in the tube? And what was the answer? Yeah. Yes! Yes! You can!